Hey Saints, um, I had a dream last night. I'm just going to tell you what it was about. I saw lots of tornadoes. Lots of tornadoes forming. Some were black and red and some were made of pure lightning. And they were tornadoes that we haven't seen out here before. And they just kept forming all over the country. And I also saw um, lots of jets, fighter jets, coming to the United States and soldiers in different armor. They had, they had uh, uniforms, right? But they were, they had different national emblems on them. And then over the uniforms, they had this armor that had those national emblems as well. So in other words, this army had, I'm not going to say they're aliens because I don't believe in aliens. Aliens are demons. That's plain and simple. But I'm going to say that this army had um, technologically advanced weaponry, armor, um, aircraft, unlike anything we've ever seen. It's not something we've seen before. And this is prophesied in the Bible about an army from the north. And, and the languages that they were speaking was unheard of. And the Bible also prophesies that in the last days, knowledge is going to increase. So that's not, I told you this before, but that's not only demon, that's not only godly knowledge, you know. Demonic knowledge is going to increase. Now let me get something, let's not get it twisted, let me get something very clear. This technology was definitely not godly. It was demonic, okay. And basically the United States was facing a serious invasion, for one. There was tornadoes everywhere across this nation. Uh, tornadoes, F5 and up, these tornadoes were very powerful, unlike anything mankind has ever seen. I prayed to the Father about this, because I had this dream this morning to see if I could tell you all about it, and I've been given the permission to do so. So I believe that the dream was saying that this country is facing is going to um, be invaded. So it's going to be invaded by a very strong army that the Lord's going to give a sword to, a very strong army that no one's ever seen. And it's prophesied in the scriptures. So, as always, take this to the Lord in prayer. Test the spirits, ladies and gentlemen. Be careful who you listen to. Um, remember I told you all, if you're, if you're subscribed to a false prophet, you can unsubscribe from my channel because I'm not having it. Okay, I'm not going to have you bring in their filth to my channel and mess up the, the babes in Christ. Don't take offense to that, I'm just saying. So, on that note, I'm about to go work out. You guys stay blessed. We in the last days. Um, I also had an open vision. And I forgot to tell you this about, about this on my last video that I made. But this particular open vision, I saw a light headed to earth. Okay, I asked the Lord what was that, and the Lord told me that it was an asteroid, a large one. It was burning into the atmosphere. When these events are going to take place, I don't know. It's on the Lord's appointed time. But I'm just telling you, ladies and gentlemen, we in the last days, and my family, we're still experiencing serious demonic attacks. And those of you that have prayed for us, I thank you. Keep up, not just my household, keep my other brothers and sisters in Christ undergoing these attacks in prayer. You know, you have people that, you know, pray against us. They call themselves Christians, but they're demons, and I'm going to be straight up, and I'm going to be for real. Okay? So, please, I appreciate you keeping my household and right, my other righteous brothers and sisters in Christ that are going through this on the demonic attacks in these last days. Keep them in your prayers, please. I would appreciate it. Um, I'm not going to make this video very long. I just wanted to get on here and tell you about the open vision I had in the dreams. I get lots of dreams and visions from the Lord. Um, also, my time on here is running short. I don't know how or when. But the Lord said that I will leave my channels up, but I will not be in the ministry on YouTube anyway. I don't know when this is going to happen. I'll let you know. I'll keep you posted. Okay? And, and this is for real.
this this is the deal okay I don't know when but I'll keep you posted um there's a lot going on a lot I have to tell you that I'm not going to be able to cover in this video I want to talk to you soon about how demons can actually place curses on you you need to know that you need to know about spiritual warfare more in depth about it I put videos about it up before so you can the Lord can use you in a mighty way like he used David to, to combat evil that's going to be a commonality that you're going to be combating evil the Lord's going to be using you it's by his strength and his power alone not yours not mine She's going to use you in a mighty way, okay? Lord Jesus Christ will use you in a mighty way if you let him. So I need to talk to you about that because that's that happens. Saints are getting cursed left and right. And I'm not talking about curses people are putting on. Demons can actually put curses on you, binding spells on you. You need to know about that. My last... My my channel End Times News, the first one was closed and a new and then and then um it was reactivated again not by my hand by the hand of God. I had a video on there talking about um how celebrities sell their soul to Satan and how um doing that is not actually helping them and then, and then how you should not do that if you're thinking of selling your soul to Satan or selling your soul period making a demonic pact demon's not going to keep his end of the bargain I need to talk to you about that there's things I need to go over with you that you need to know that's going to help you in these last days okay I'm working on a deliverance case right now too I got an email from a sister. She's being attacked by an incubus spirit. I'm not going to leave you any names. And another one is being attacked by a demon known as Fury, the Greek mythological creatures. So I'm going to let it go here. I mean, I'm going to stop this here. Take what I say to you in prayer to Jesus. Do not trust anyone. Do not trust me. Do not take what I tell you. As face value, you go straight to Jesus Christ and you ask him if what I tell you is true. I will keep you posted on, on certain things. These are things that I want to talk to you about. I might put it on my radio ministry because I get half, I mean, I get half hour increments there and it's so much easier. Ladies and gentlemen, stay close to Jesus.